Hi, hi there, YouTube. This is Michelle, and this is week number six of the Embossy Punch Bunch collaboration with Poet Spice. And this week, we were given a challenge by Jamie to use our embossing folders and punches to cover some type of container. Um, got me thinking, wheels uh, moving, and I decided to decorate some acrylic packaging. I mean, many of us, um, I think most of you will recognize this one. This is the packaging that all of that dollar store washi tape comes in. Well, I keep them because specifically uh, because you can run them through the embossing folders. They, you can open them up, they lay flat, they go through the embossing folders perfectly, and then use them again for packaging. So let me show you the ingredients um, that I used for this week's project. So we have our acrylic packaging here. I used my um, embossing folders uh, that are Two are Sizzix and one is, oh, they're all three Sizzix. So one is, um, okay, I'm thinking this is watch pieces. This one is gears. And this is kind of a daisy all over pattern here. We've got our texture boutique, which I use to run the embossing folders through. I used my Tim Holtz butterfly. I used uh, my Tim Holtz mini attacher. I used this eyelash trim from Tuesday morning, $1.99 for the whole bunch of it. And I got out my alcohol inks for this project. Okay. Um, also, and keep this pin this, I did reuse the carousel horse. I got so many compliments last week on this die. Again, this is a, I think it's Marvy. Oh, no, this is an EK Success horse, uh, carousel horse die, as, or punch as well. Okay. So let me show you what I came up with. This is my upcycled packaging. So um, I've got them on a red background so hopefully you can see them pretty clearly. Again I took the acrylic packaging, laid it flat and ran it through the embosser with the embossing folder. I punched out several butterflies. This one I had actually um, stamped and cut out but the cut ones are lower. Here, let me see if you can see that. I use the eyelash trim kind of as the bodies and so there's that one and then um, on this one I just used the alcohol inks on the actual butterflies and left the packaging clear um, this would be the perfect size for I forget what came in here probably a spray it looks like it's about the size of uh, one of those sprays that you get um, yeah so there's that and then here is the little washi tape box so you can see where I've embossed it with the daisy pattern I use my alcohol my blending tool to totally put alcohol inks all over to get it some color and then this first butterfly here was stamped with stays on ink and let me tell you something if you're gonna use any kind, now maybe, well, I use the stays on because of the acrylic, but then if you do, you've got to use the alcohol ink on the opposite side. Otherwise, the alcohol ink and the stays on ink, um, they counteract each other, so the black ink will come off. So that's just an FYI. Um, here's some of those cut, the punched butterflies here that have been um, alcohol inked. And then I just use the eyelash trim uh, for the bodies. There. 
So I'm not sure what I could put in there, but it uh, I'm sure I could find something. This would be great for a jewelry box, probably. That'd be nice. A pair of earrings or a ring or something like that. Again, this is from the dollar store, those washi tapes. They I've got gazillions of these, and I just couldn't throw them away. Um, another thing I'll do is um, break them down and then cut, punch out uh, shapes out of them and use them that way too. Alrighty, so that was project number one, even though it was two. And then I want to show you the second one that I did that came out really cool. I didn't, um, I think I took pictures of the beginning, but I'm not sure if I can add the pictures. I might maybe not be that techno savvy. This was a, um, I think this was a business card holder box. And so what I did was I used my ATG and I took foil. Um, I took some plain cardstock and I just ran ATG all over it and then I laid the foil on top and then um, you know flattened it out made sure it was adhered really well and then I ran it through the um, embossing folder um, this was the gears and then what I did was I pretty much paper pieced the box top with those sheets of the and it was really literally some dollar store aluminum foil here and um, then this is just washi on the corners to kind of finish it off alcohol inked I used a lot of uh, black stays on ink on the sides to distress it and then I know I got lots of comments on the carousel horse so I cut three of the horses out of the paper um, also cut three in black to put behind. Um, they are up on pop darts. And then obviously for a male, you got me going in circles. I just thought that was cute. So anywho, there at the bottom of the box, I got lazy. Um, one, the top wouldn't have fit if I would have paper pieced the pieces all over that. So I just covered it with the foil and then just did some black stays on to kind of distress it and then finished it off on the inside merely with this um, washi tape. That's the industrial, Tim Holtz industrial looking washi. And theirs is more paper tape than it is uh, washi. The stick is very loose. I put glue down, but there's still some places where it's coming up. And I didn't get time to finish the inside, so that's why I didn't uh, show you all the parts of that, but it came out so cool. Um, just wanted to share. So again, all I did was I glued um, plain aluminum foil on cardstock. Then I cut the cardstock into the four by six, the same size as the embossing folder size, ran that through the embosser, and then I cut the pieces um, and just glued them to the top. And then I used the washi to finish the edges and then cut with the, some scraps, cut out three horses. Yeah. So, week six, bring it on, Jamie. I'm ready for another challenge. <laughs> Hope everybody's having a great day. Uh, have a happy, crafty weekend, and we'll see you next week. Bye.